Good evening, everyone. I'm Vanya, and our project is the Dyer Slate application. First, I would like to introduce you to our team members. They are uh, Aman, uh, Chandrasekhar, Amit, Nishant, Vikram, Vinod, Naveen, and me, Vanya. Next are uh, mentors who have helped us materialize our ideas and successfully complete this project. They are Mr. Parag Tiwari, Mr. Ninad Chilap, Mr. Arun Nair. The purpose of Dyer Slate. While creating this application, what we wanted to do was create the digital equivalent of a real-time slate. In addition to just drawing and erasing, we also added the feature of uh, drawing UML diagrams. Although the UML part of this application is just a prototype, we've included uh, as many features as possible in that too. Let's talk about the features of the Dyer Slate. Dyer Slate, as the name suggests, consists of two important parts. The first part is the slate part, and the second is the UML diagrams. Let's talk about the features of the slate. Uh, most of the slate uh, applications that have slate just have drawing and erasing. But Dyer Slate, apart from drawing, erasing, we also have changing the color of the brush, changing the width of the brush, changing the width of the eraser, changing the color of the background. We can also add pages dynamically in case that one page just isn't enough to draw. Apart from drawing, we can save these drawings and then view them later whenever we want to. We can save this either as a PDF or as an image. Now the features of the UML. Uh, as I told you, the UML part of this application is still a prototype. So the features that we have implemented are uh, drawing shapes, connecting the shapes, uh, adding uh, text to these entities, and uh, also saving the UML diagrams as images. Next, why Dyer Slate? Uh, we might have heard of apps which uh, are similar to the Slate, which help in drawing and erasing. There are also other apps which help us draw UML diagrams. But Dyer Slate is the only app which integrates the best features of both the Slate and the UML diagrams. Um, next. Um, when we say the word slate, the first thing that comes to our mind are children. So people think that uh, this application is only for children, but that is not true. Uh, our target users are children. They are also professors in universities, teachers in schools, and anybody who likes drawing can uh, make use of our application. Um, here we can see is a screenshot of the main application. As I told you, it's a dual feature app. So it has slate as well as the UML. So whatever the user wishes to use, um, he can either select Slate for drawing or he can select UML for making the UML diagrams. Uh, next, we have uh, Vikram, who will give us a demonstration of uh, the Slate part of this application on the Akash tablet. I am myself Vikram. Now I am going to give the demonstration of Slate. This is the flat screen of our app. As you, can, as you can see, there are two options provided for the user, Slate and UML. And this is the canvas where user can draw. And these are the various options provided to the left side of the panel and as well as the top panel. And as you can see, on the top panel, we have two options. One is for pencil and another is eraser. Now the present icon shows that we are in the draw mode. That means we can draw on the canvas. As you can see, I am going to draw slate. Now, we can even change the width of the pencil. We can change the width of the pencil by upon long clicking, long click of the icon that shows for the draw mode. Here we have the seek bar through which we can change the width of the pencil. Now, as you can see, the pencil width has changed and the, we humans are ten, um, born to make mistakes, so we can erase whatever we have drawn. Up, we can erase the drawings by going to eraser mode. Just click on the icon on the top panel. Now we are in, we are in the eraser mode. So we can erase what we have drawn. And we can even change the width of the eraser by doing the same thing as pencil width upon long click. And if you want to see it in full screen, here, here is the button. Upon clicking this one, 
it will show the full screen of the app and upon clicking the same button we will go into the same the various options will be provided that means left panel as well as the top panel and if the if the page is not sufficient we, you can add dynamically dynamically various pages here is the button for that one upon clicking the plus button that is provided here new pages will be added and here is the page counter where you can see total number of pages and the page and the current page and here are the two buttons through which we can move from one page to another page this is for next page and as well as this is for the previous page and if there are more number of pages we can go to we, we can um, that means we can scroll to any page we want through the seek bar provided at the left left pan, top panel this is the way if we click more number of pages that means i am just adding more number of pages i can scroll through pages using the seek bar that has provided this way we can scroll through pages and if you, if you want to delete a page that has added extra you can delete by the um, option provided to the left corner this delete the current current page that means if you want to delete a, a specific page go to that page through the scroll bar uh, or through the buttons provided at the top panel and click the delete delete option then it will de automatically delete the current page and if you want you have drawn so much in a particular page and you want to you want to erase it we have provided two options for the user one with the one with the eraser he can change the width of the eraser and he can erase the drawings he has drawn but we can also erase completely the particular page using a single button that has provided here is the button upon clicking this one the complete drawings will be will be removed this is from the particular page and we can draw again we can even change the color of the pencil upon clicking this one you will be provided with a color picker from which you can select various colors and you can even change the background of the canvas now i will draw now we have provided the user with two options one is to save the drawings he has drawn with as images another is to save the complete pages he has drawn into a pdf upon clicking this one user will be provided with two options one is to save as images another is to save as pdf and it will prompt a dialog box asking the name of the file and it will show you the progress progress of the saving and the files will be saved into the internal storage of the tablet and it automatically if there is um, it automatically creates a directory na uh, named as slate and the images will be saved into the slate directory i will show you let here is the directory and these are the previous drawings and i have named slate this is the image that we have drawn and if there are multiple pages the naming convention is such a way that the name you have given during the dialog um, dialog box followed by the page number as you can see this is this is named as slate one as it is the only page that is in the application so it is named as slate one if there are multiple pages the pages will be saved individually with the page number slate followed by whether if there are two pages second page will be slate2.png and we can also save the image as pdf okay and all pages will be saved into the pdf according to the order that we have drawn the page the pdfs will be also in slate directory here is the pdf so there is no adobe reader or any pdf reader so i can i cannot able to see you the pdf so that is our app and amen will continue with the presentation well thanks vikram now as my friend vane already informed you that uh, uml application is still in prototype 
yeah here are the features of the uml first of all in shapes you can draw five different types of shapes circle rectangle oval or ellipse actor and a single line and there are different criteria for drawing a particular shapes it's not like drawing with a finger circle that we will tell while giving the demonstration another feature is move move is like drag and drop if we click on one particular shape we can drag from one position to another position after that text like in use case diagram in a oval uh, we enter some text like in case so we can click on particular shape we can enter the text after that delete if we click on delete we can delete a particular shape like click particular delete on click on one shape one at a one time after that background color we can change background color we have put five different types of colors or uh, this is the comparison made by our team blackboard sd is already an existing app which does only one function of slate like drawing or writing anything so here is the comparison first of all open source blackboard sd is not an open source whereas dice slate is going to be an open source and dual feature blackboard sd is only for writing not for uml purpose and dice slate can do both the things save as pdf there is no option in blackboard sd you cannot save as pdf where is in dice slate if you want to write any number of pages you can create a book at the same time and you can upload on the internet after that dynamic pages blackboard sd does not contain feature of features of adding n number of dynamic pages whereas dice slate we can add any number of pages it depends upon the memory of the sd card and of course blackboard sd and dice slate are free of course this is the how blackboard sd looks and how the dice slate looks dice slate has a two menu one horizontal and one vertical these are challenges which we faced while making the app first of, first of all i will tell you the resolved challenges text editing inside a shape in our app we can edit a text inside a shape shape drag and drop earlier we were facing problem in dragging from one position to another now we have that we have resolved that problem also connectivity of shape we can automatically connect the shape like we do in use case diagram but the problem is we are like right now connecting through the center we tried through all corner but uh, there is problem like from which direction we need to connect so we decided to connect through center right now after unresolved challenges are gesture detection in slate which means whatever you write in, write in slate if you try to listen that particular word it will suppose you write a it will pronounce a and you will came to know whether you have write, written the right thing or not single zoomable shape in our app uh, in uml application if we draw a particular shape we cannot zoom that particular shape like we need to delete that again and we need to redraw it that's the consequences of our, of our app and unable to move shapes with connectivity like if we automatically connect the particular shape like the whole thing we cannot move we can move only one thing at a one time now chandrashekar will give a demonstration of uml good evening everybody myself chandrashekar i am giving demo of slate app uml app in uh, dice slate uh, basically it consists of uh, three facilities for a user creating new uh, images uh, editing previous images or viewing the images which have uh, previously done okay we have also included help button for the users uh, so that they can know how to draw shapes because basically if you want to draw a circle we just uh, draw a pattern for drawing circle but in this case it is not that we have to give diagonals and all <coughs> now i will show a quick demo of uh drawing different shapes uh dragging dropping and deleting uh see here are different shapes given we have included uh, for now five shapes only uh i will first draw rectangle see now i will drag and drop it to whatever place i want to do i can rename also it is the for the container the name have been came now i am deleting everything now i will give a quick demo of our own app a simple use case diagram with two uh, cases and connecting between them i will take oval i will take i will take two cases case 1 case 2 so uh, so i have got a uh, small one 
I can delete it. I'll take in a same place. I will take an actor to as a user. Now I will connect them. Now I add a container that which will specify that these two cases are involved in one. Now I will save, is, save this image. Uh, it will be saved in uh, tablets uh, internal storage which I have, we have named as Android Paint only. I will show you. It will save that as PDF only. This is the image which I have drawn. Now I will show you the image which I have, uh, I have drawn. Uh, I can edit that image, but I can't uh, change its the image size. I can add different shapes in it because it is stored as image only, a previous image. We can't edit in that image, but we can add different shapes and rename it. Here it comes. I'm adding circle in it. We can do this, but we can't do this. It is our future scope for that. We'll do that. The last part to view that image which we have shown, saved. Thank you. The next expression will be given by Amit. Yeah. So now I will talk about the future enhancements. Like every other project, our project also has a wide scope of future enhancements. Here we have listed a few of them. The first one is finger tracing. That means the student will be asked to replicate a given pattern. As we can see in the figure, the pattern of letter A is already drawn and the student is trying to draw it himself by looking at the pattern. We can optionally help him by providing a dotted pattern. In that case, he will just have to follow that dot and pat pattern. So in this way, we can easily teach the students letters, alphabets, etc. And the next one? The next one is pin zoom on single image. That means uh, we can zoom in or zoom out a particular image by moving the fingers ap apart or moving towards each other. As we can, s okay. as we can see in the diagram, uh, we can adjust the image as, as per our requirements. The next one. So the last one is inserting of Im images for additional explanation. As we can see in the diagram, so suppose that a biology teacher uh, inserts an image of human digestive system and then he can explain the overall functioning of the system by, by mentioning all the parts and their function. So this way uh, we, can, we can help the teachers to insert image and then explain the concept related to it. Next. So and now this is the list of the references that we have been using throughout the de development of our project. And the entire source code of our project is already uploaded on github.com. And we, we would appreciate further people to contribute to our project. And thanks. And now we will address your queries, if any. So when you suggest uh, future activity as pronouncing the letter as a child writes it, you would need to implement recognition as well. How difficult or easy do you think that part would be? You have to recognize this whether it is A, B, C, or K, K, G, etc. Yes, Initially, give the patterns that this is letter A, this is letter B, this right. is letter C, and now you just follow this pattern and practice drawing this pattern. Acha, so you will actually give the pattern? Yeah, yeah. we will give and the patterns. So the system knows that you are actually yeah, practicing yeah, yeah. A or B yeah. or C. Okay. That will be relatively simple, yeah. yes. Uh, can you also uh, sort of suggest to the child if the child is not drawing it properly on the contours, etc., will it be possible? Yeah, for that we are giving dotted patterns and the, the student can yeah. just follow the dotted patterns. It will be very easy for him to learn through that dotted pattern. Okay. How many lines of code did you end up writing actually? 3,700. Not bad. You are happy with what you have done? Or you could have done more. 
Uh, does any one of you hope to follow this up with a final year project with something more substantial added? Or you have not thought about it? No, Back we, into we, will add, we will continue with the project. How many of your colleges are part of the Akash project already? One. None of you. <laughs>